Hello, welcome to Workspaces video series called The Creative Spark, where we feature artists, art, and their creative process. My name is Stacy Zack and I'm the manager of Workspace and our galleries at Workspace, where we're currently exhibiting the Veterans Art of All Times exhibit running through Saturday, September 26, 2020. In this Creative Spark, we get to talk to the creator of this love and hope installation. So we're going to start the video and you can hear what this is all about. And this is our love exhibit, which we're going to talk about next. This room is multi-purpose. We display art in it, but it's ultimately a meeting room where we host classes and seminars, workshops, trainings. And now we see the hope display. And right here, we have the gentleman the artist who kindly brought us this work. Gene, can you introduce yourself to us? I'm Gene Steck. I'm from Manchester, and I'm part of the American Cancer Society Relay for Life for South Windsor, Rockville, for Manchester Relay. And these are luminaries I've created over the years for the relay. And what is a luminary? Luminary is, uh, is a bag that's lit up at night or put around the, tr the track at the relay to light it up and they glow all night. So in their original form, these bags would be open and on the ground with maybe sand in them to hold them in place right. and some sort of uh, candle or electric light and it makes a beautiful outline for a walkway. Excellent. And what, how are these decorated? They're decorated with, with pencils and magic markers and then crayons. And did you do all of the artwork? I didn't do all of them. I did most of them. Um, with just random ideas of uh, whatever. Sometimes from cards, sometimes from photographs. Things to remind me of the people that they're dedicated to. All the luminaries are dedicated to cancer survivors. Some are still with us, and some have moved on with their lives. And tell us your personal connection to this particular project, if you don't mind. Our, our relay team is named Ray of Hope, and it's in honor of my daughter, who was a cancer survivor. And she was also a pretty funny kid. And she survived cancer for 22 years, and the side effects of cancer resulted in her leaving us in 2008. So a lot of these are dedicated to people I know, or dedicated to people that have donated to the relay, donated to our team. The money all goes to the American Cancer Society. And some are from my teammates, some are made by my neighbors. And how did you decide to put them in, uh, transform them into a love and hope display? We used to collect them each year rather than throw them away. And we put them back out the next year. And when we got up around 300 luminaries, it ended up taking a lot of time to put them up take them down and pack them up for the next year. So I thought maybe we could create something that made it a little bit easier to remember everyone. And the first year we created hope, and then the second year we created love. And how did you get um, connected to this veterans art of all kinds exhibit at the galleries at Workspace? There was an article in the Hartford Current, and this is art that seemed like something that might be worth getting out again. Our relay, because of COVID, is a lot smaller this year, and it may not have been possible to put this up at the relay. And I was really happy that you were interested, and it's really great the way you've been able to display that. Well, we are honored that you uh, brought even more love and hope into this space. 
And because this is a veterans art exhibit, can you tell us about your veteran status? I joined the Army in 1969. Was stationed in the U.S. for a year. Was stationed in Korea for about a year and a half. And left the Army in 1972. I was with the Corps of Engineers, part of a survey company, and managed to avoid Vietnam and get home safely. Excellent. And eventually have a family and have a wonderful daughter and son and wife. able to do something good like this. How yeah. you two together? Excellent. Well, we appreciate that synergy. We appreciate your service. If anybody is interested in um, seeing uh, hope and love displayed, they're welcome to join us. Call us. We'll give a private, socially distant tour of our full exhibit. And right next to Eugene is a table where we have made cards. Uh, we ask people who come and visit to sign a card and um, thank a veteran, they will be put in tote bags filled, filled with art supplies so that veterans uh, like Jean can enjoy being part of the creative process. So thank you, Jean. We appreciate your uh, being with us. Thank you so much. You're welcome. My pleasure. So it was a delight to uh, meet Gene, and he has been so engaged and invested in our art show, and that's what we want at the galleries at Workspace. We're building a community. Uh, this is uh, images of the luminaries a little bit closer up for you to see in case you don't have a chance to come and see the exhibit, exhibit yourself. So we do appreciate Gene for sharing his personal story, sharing his art, and again, uh, helping us keep love and hope in our workspace. The tote bags that veterans can call us to receive are filled with art supplies that have been generously sponsored by our local Elks Lodge um, and the family of Navy veteran Ray Martins in his memory. So we do hope you come and see our exhibit, which again is beautiful. The main gallery is filled with artwork from Michelle Thomas, whose work you see here, and Kimberly Hale, who did create those cards for the veterans. Both of them have, are teaching workshops, Zoom workshops as part of this exhibit, because all of our exhibits are also ex experiences where we have conversations and learning because workspace after all is a place to meet, learn, create, and work. So thank you for spending this time with us on our Creative Spark. Uh, they're released every Friday at noon and we really appreciate you uh, being with us. Contact us if you'd like to arrange a tour of this exhibit or if you're an artist and want to participate in our upcoming shows. Thank you so very much and have a great day.